for recording setup, this is this is where you decide the recording mode for each one of the cameras. Um, you assign you you can assign a, a particular recording schedule to multiple cameras in groups. For instance, you might want camera one and right now they're all they're all selected uh, when you see it highlighted in blue it means they're all selected so I'm gonna go ahead and deselect all the cameras so that we start from scratch let's say you want camera one three five and seven set up for normal recording and to select a recording mode you click the icon next to the word not the actual word so we wouldn't click not record, we click the little icon next to it. So if I want cameras one, three, five, and seven set up for normal record, that means that those cameras are just gonna be set up to record continuously. I'm gonna click this icon here and then go to the grid here and just click and drag. And that means for 24 hours a day, cameras one three five and seven are going to always be recording and all of this is happening for group one now for the other cameras two four six and eight we can assign a different record mode we may want to set those cameras up for motion recording so I'm gonna go to group two select cameras two four six and eight choose motion record and then I'm gonna click and drag and now cameras two four six and eight are set up for motion recording If we go back to group one we'll see cameras one three five and seven are set up for normal record and you don't have to set it up so that that recording mode is applicable for every hour of the day you you may say for cameras one three five and seven you only want them set up for normal record we'll say from we'll, we'll say we'll, we'll say until hour 10 so we'll go ahead and go back and change this to not record click normal record again and go to hour 10 right there then we can select another record mode and fill, fill in other, other squares in the grid. And obviously this is all relative to days in the week as well. So you could actually, you know, we'll, we'll clear this again. We can set it up so that these selected cameras are set up for normal record all day on Sunday. Tuesday and Friday and then we can click motion record and then set up motion recording for Monday and I'm sorry I said Monday and the other one I meant Sunday but you get the idea you can apply this to different days of the week different hours and you can assign you can assign this to multiple cameras in groups now let's say let's say you want camera one to record only when motion is detected and you want all the other cameras to always be recording uh, we can just create a new group we'll say group three we'll select camera one click motion record there and then we can click and drag and obviously these settings are up being applied to only this first camera here so camera one right now is set up for motion record for every day of the week 24 hours a day we're gonna go back to group one we'll select all the other cameras and we'll set them to normal record Okay, so now 
cameras two through eight are set up to record continuously, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Camera one, however, is set up to record only when motion is detected, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's something to keep in mind. You're going to have a group, the, the number of groups available are going to match the number of channels on your card. That allows you to create a unique schedule for each separate camera if you choose to do so. Um, so that's that's something to keep in mind. You have that flexibility. These, these drop downs here, uh, pre-event record, uh, that basically means that whenever the camera is recording, you're always going to have five seconds of footage available in the in the recording previous to the schedule recording time for instance if you set up motion recording for camera one to begin at hour nine you're gonna get your your recording is actually gonna start at the eighth hour and 55 minutes and 55 seconds before that I shouldn't say before that, but at that particular time. So if if you tell it to start recording at hour nine, the recording is actually going to start at 8.59.55. So it's going to give you five seconds of footage before. And post is, is just the, the opposite. It, it gives you five seconds of footage following wherever you told the recording to stop. Usually these defaults are fine. Uh, record audio. You can choose to just record video or you can do video and audio. If you have uh, microphones connected to the audio input jacks on, on your DVR card. If, if you don't want to record audio, you want to keep this set to just video because you could end up recording. Uh, you, you could end up recording uh, just dead air or nothing that's taking up hard drive space unnecessarily. 